Hi everyone. Welcome to Max Art Place. My name is Marlene Kosan and today I'm going to do my very first colander pour. I wonder how that's going to come out. Today I am using several different kinds and colors of paint. Sometimes I think I'm using too many colors but remains to be seen. I have cobalt turquoise light from Atelier and um, Liquitex Basics Deep Violet with Floetrol, my mica powder with Floetrol, and I found this yellow paint um, in the Dollar Tree. I mixed that up with some of my pouring medium, which is two parts vivid uh, enamel and one part poly uh, poly. Let me go look. My mind is leaving me. Polycrylic. Uh, I'm using liquid tex iridescent bright bronze that I've mixed with my pouring medium and I've added some deco art express o to it. Um, this yellow that I was talking about, I added some red to tone it down a little and some white to get more of like a peachy effect. And I have put a drop or two of uh, Helmar's silicone spray. Only I used, took the lid off and did a couple drops instead of the spray. Sprayer don't work right on this anyway. So uh, my white is Amsterdam's titanium white, the expert kind. I guess I'm trying to become an expert. I'm certainly not one now. So we have the white, the yellow I mixed up, the uh, purple, uh, the gold, the cobalt blue, and this brown I mixed up. So we're going to see what happens. I'm using an 11 by 17 canvas that I have repurposed. So I've taped the bottom and put these pins in. I'm not as happy with those pins as I am with the screw hooks because when the paint runs down they get on the pins and I haven't figured out how to get the paint off the pins yet and sometimes that causes a problem with leveling of the canvas because one might have a little bit more paint on the bottom than the other. I have to find something I can soak them in in between time. If I don't have enough white, uh, which is also mixed with my mix up uh, pouring medium, I have some of this Walmart flat white with Floetrol. I didn't want to use any gloss in it. So we'll see what happens. We'll give this a try. I also have this 8x10 little canvas here that I'm setting aside, the one that I'm pouring on. Uh, I have found that a lot of really neat things happen. Uh, like, yeah, finish pouring here and you have to move this, so I'm going to move it to there. Uh, sometimes I get really neat stuff that falls out of the cup after you're done using the cup full of... Um, your paint and an example of that is what I started this video with the short video of the trivet I made that was paint that was left over in the cup and it made all these really neat fish it was marvelous so here we go get this stuff out of my way um, I have to mix up some more pouring medium and here is my cup. I've tried to make all these paints the same consistency. 
Uh, that's not always an easy thing to do. And I'm only going to use a little bit of each color. I don't want a lot. I've never tried this before, so I don't know what I'm doing, but I don't want big blobs of color. I want little lines of color or circles or we'll find out. Sometimes I'd like to take these sticks out of the cups but it's also helpful if you stir them up. Depends on how long they've been sitting there. My calculations of an 11 by 17 canvas, which you take the 11 times it by the 17, and divide it by 28, comes out that I need seven ounces of paint. I think that this is a nine ounce cup. So we'll see what happens. I don't particularly like that yellow color. I'm a turquoise, purple, and gold girl. I guess I should play some music for you while we're waiting for me to pour all this paint in this cup. I certainly can't sing. Uh, my sister always wonders what I did with the money my mother gave me for singing lessons. And I keep telling her that she gave it to her instead of me and got us mixed up. Uh, because I cannot carry a tune. I can play instruments because I can read music, but can't sing. I hope I have enough paint mixed up here. purple in a bottle so if I need to do another round I can grab the bottle in fact I might do that because I don't think there was enough unless it sunk and I didn't see it there happier with that I found these two colanders uh, that have different imprints on the bottom. So uh, it's a bigger one. I have to use a bigger canvas than this. And since this is my first try, I thought I would start out small. I have found out through my experimenting with different things that I do not like 
a whole bunch of real dark colors mixed together. It's all right when you're doing the um, the metallics on top of um, black. That seems to come out all right, but I don't like when you get the real dark colors all together on white for some reason. I know I've changed my order here. I just wanted to use all the paint in these cups except that peachy thing that I mixed up because I'm not that happy with it. So I don't care to use all of this. Although it does look good next to the cobalt blue, I didn't really want it a, a very bright yellow for some reason. I'm probably going to have to add white around my edges to uh, have it slide after it goes through the colander. A big experiment. I love experiment. Of course, I've said that before. Yeah, and I'll put this pipe away. Get my colander up here. And I'm going to go in a circle. Already I'm seeing mud. The one I did yesterday I can't show you because it's not dry yet. I should have had another one here to turn this cup over on. The things you think of after you're already started. This isn't really coming out of the bottom, so I have to lift it up a little bit. And now it's coming out. <clears throat> and this does have tiny holes on the bottom, which are not emptying. Maybe my paint was too thick. I don't know. One hole has emptied. Well, that's probably not a good sign. But we'll see. Oh, I see another one starting too. There it 
we're going to sit that on there and I'm going to give this a torch. Lots of bubbles. I need to add white around the outside so it spreads, but I don't want to do it from this bottle, so I'll do it from this cup. Easier to control. I see people working with weird color combinations and they always look very nice. Mine don't seem to do that for some reason. Let's see what we can do. Sorry, I'm moving you. I don't know if you can see the metallic or not very hard to pick up. I'm starting to get these little cells. I'm still gonna try doing, oh, look at that little blue spot that showed up. Try doing uh, raindrops. I wanna try it on that record I did yesterday but uh, it's not dry yet, so we have to wait. But I think raindrops on this would look pretty nice. I think it's interesting. My colors aren't uh, too bad, like awful bad, but they probably could be a little bit better. I would like the purple and the blue to be a little more vivid. The further away you get, the less they are so and then we have where I put this so we'll pick this up and see what's going on underneath we have a little ring so I could take this ring and let it run. It has a lot of bubbles in it as well. That's from coming through the colander. I think I'll put a little bit of white in the middle so it can get my finger off the camera. So it can run in with each other and see what happens. We'll do wreck. A ring. Where's a stick? Yeah, we're gonna do wreck a ring. There's the two eyes watching me. Well, that's all the fun things I'm going to record. I'll probably wind up scraping that off because I don't know what else I could do with it anyway. A lot of times you get some good stuff comes out. So until next time, 
don't forget to subscribe and hit that little bell uh, so you get uh, notifications of when I upload a video. And please tell your friends and share and help my channel grow. What a year that would be. Be so pleasing for an old lady to get somewhere on YouTube. You guys have a wonderful day and the rest of the week. And until we meet again, bye-bye.